Hello everyone, how are you? This is Kay. So today um, I would like to introduce one of the favorite candlestick patterns, which is inside bar breakout. And before I learned Ichimoku, I learned the basics of the candlesticks and also a deep understanding of the price actions. And inside bar breakout is something that you can also use in your daily trades and also it applies to any time frames, whether it's a weekly time frame or daily one hour or even five minute or even one minute time frame. This inside bar breakout really happens and it works really well. So that's why today I would like to introduce how I see the inside bar breakout and what will be the potential entry timings based on this strategy. So hopefully you enjoy the video until the end. So let me switch screen to trading view. Okay, so um, this is in the 4 hour. So now I show the Ichimoku, but let me cancel Ichimoku now for today's video so that you can fully focus on the candlesticks only. So as you see this, this is bullish. The market has been up and along the way up like this, inside a break happens really often. And when you see that, that's a great opportunity to trade. So for example, one of the clear inside bar structures is here. Uh, let me take this uh, line. So inside happens, inside a breakout means, let's say there's a big candlestick, whether this is a bullish or bearish bar, you have the big candlestick and you, you look at the high of the candlestick and low of the candlestick. So you simply draw the line from high to the future and on the low to the future. So you draw two lines on low and high and then extend it all the way to the right and see where the breakout happens. So inside it means this big bo uh, bullish bar high and low includes the future candles. In this case, it has been including so many candles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And on this 12th bar, the market broke the inside. So this means in terms of the price action, exactly from this candlestick, the buyers started to be dominant over sellers. And from this candlestick onwards, we can expect continuous uptrend. So this is how inside a breakout happens. And what's more, why it works is that uh, because within the inside, you see uh, bearish candlestick and bullish candlesticks until it breaks either direction. So within the inside, there are traders, there are buyers and there are sellers and buyers put the stop losses below the inside support usually and sellers put the stop losses above the inside usually. So once the stop losses are taken of the sellers, then it goes towards that direction. And also opposite is also true. If the market breaks bearish inside, then the stop losses of the buyers are taken and that's why most likely the market continues to be bearish. In this case, this inside bar pattern appears as a trend reversal. But the basic rule is that uh, you wait for the inside bar breakout and follow that direction. So again, in this case, the market has been range uh, for almost uh, one day, more than one day, the market has been ranging within the inside. So in this case, you never trade. Whenever you see the prices are within the inside, then it can't go anywhere. So when you trade within the inside in higher time frame like this, then you may lose consecutive. And then the market goes after you lose your trades. So Whenever I see the inside of a break, I follow, but within the inside, I don't usually trade, is my rule. So this is 
a type of the inside bar structure and the breakout. I hope you get this idea now. So now I just happen to see another inside breakout example on this I wave. So that's actually here. You can see that um, this white bullish bar is high and low. This is the high. This is the low of this candlestick. And again, one, two, three, four candlesticks were included. And then on the fifth candlestick, it broke bullish. So to me, this is not bullish. And also the, the candlestick afterwards are supported by the inside of a high. So unless the market breaks the inside high on this structure, to me, this is bullish. So I expect the market will be up like this way on this chart example. So this is also how you can read the inside bar breakout. After the inside bar breakout, sometimes the market, the inside bar resistance becomes the, uh, the future support and then the market goes like this. It happens also quite often and when you see this, this is a great structure to trade. So again, uh, whenever you look at the candlesticks, you can also focus Ichimoku, but also uh, you can now start to focus on the inside bar and wait for the breakout and then follow that direction afterwards. So let me look for some more inside bar breakout example. So it works also whenever the trend is, trend is happening. Let's say here, this is range. You can see that, uh, let's say between here, between here and here, the market has been ranging. So this is not really trending, as you can see. And whenever the market is ranging, then inside a breakout doesn't work. For example, here, there is an inside a breakout. It broke bearish, but it only went down this much and then the market suddenly went up all the way. And also, um, another inside of a breakout example is here. So this white bullish candlesticks high and low has been including one, two, three, four candlesticks. And on this blue bearish bar, technically broke the inside bar bearish. But then on the next candlestick, it just suddenly went up and you know it even broke the inside of a high. So like this, whenever the market is ranging like this, just up and ups and downs, then inside of a breakout doesn't really work. So make sure that you are in the trending market and use the inside bar properly. Then it should work very well. And also today's example was um, only on the uptrending, but you can of course use the inside bar breakout in downtrending market too. So let me see, somewhere here we may see inside, oh yeah, so for example, well uh, this one, there was an inside breakout over here, and after this the market went down very strongly. So let me, but let me look for some more stable and longer downtrend structure, or so maybe here. The market has been bearish ever since the high on top, this one. So whenever you see inside of a breakout, then it should work. So let me see. Um, for example, here, this uh, blue bearish bars, high and low, are including one, two, three candlesticks. And these two dojis were fake breakout, but technically the close price did not break the low. So I would say that in this case, the inside of a break happened exactly on this candlestick. So if you take sell, and if you put the stop loss above the previous high, then the market should go down this way without touching your stop loss. So this is one of the ways to trade by the inside bar breakout only.
And with this knowledge, you also apply Ichimoku, and you also apply some other strategies, then it will work really well. Um, I used to use moving averages, and I was using 200 and 75 and 21 uh, moving averages, and whenever those moving average uh, moving averages are pointing down, and then when you see inside a breakout, most likely it works too. Before I was using Ichimoku, I used to use that strategy too. But now I use Ichimoku because Ichimoku has more information, much more information about the market than moving averages. So that's why I use, but as uh, whichever trend follow strategies use, this inside but breakout should work for you also. So like this, you can test yourself and see if it works. And um, yeah, you also practice by bar replay on TradingView or the Forex tester backtesting and uh, make sure that it works for you and then start to use it on the live market. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you'd like to know more about my strategy, then I recommend you to join the KTS Academy membership, which is the monthly subscription. And unlike Global Trading School, there is no monthly follow-up, so weekly meetings, regular meetings in a small group, but instead there are more than 60 videos for only the members, which covers not only how to select the best pair or entry or exit, but also um, risk management, which includes um, how to calculate the lot size and where exactly to put the stop loss and how to exit with the small losses and how to set break even and how to trial in two different positions and two, two different uh, stop losses. And also, I have lots of other videos about the psychology management and how I backtest my strategies one by one and also uh, my videos about my trace. And every time I enter trace, exit trace, I share screenshots with my comments on it so that uh, you can actually uh, learn based on my live trace also. And on top of that, um, there are three times of weekly membership only meetings and KTS Academy members and also GTS members will actually get together and uh, analyze charts, discuss markets three times per week, which also includes in KTS Academy membership. And there's much more to it. So if you want to know more details, then uh, please access below the description and click the link KTS Academy and you can find out more details. And also now I have three communities, which are Global Trading School and this KTS Academy and also Ichimoku community. So if you don't know which one to join yet, then also please click on the below description and uh, click on the link where it says take a survey. It only takes two minutes and you just uh, answer 10 questions to know which one suits you the best to join. So again, thank you very much for watching the video and I, until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. Bye for now. Matane, thank you.